So I've had a lot of questions about the topic of spirituality. And we're going to kind of keep it vanilla today. Let's work on some practical things that may be helpful to you. Now, uh, I can have an in-depth conversation if you want about the scriptures, about salvation, about Buddhism, Hinduism, Zoroastrianism, uh, the Red Road to Recovery. We could look at a lot of different things. Jura to Jeff, Madame Blatsky, Theosophy. <laughs> How about St. Germain? St. Germain. It ain't Peter. It ain't Paul. It ain't Silas. It ain't Saul. It's St. Germain. All that aside, when you're starting in a program of neural repatterning, you want to put good things in your head. So what I've got piled in front of me is multiple varieties of daily readings and meditations that I have used over many, many years of meditation and recovery that I have found useful. And that let's look at several of them and maybe you'll find useful. So um, many of you know that I, I used to be an independent fundamental Bible-believing Baptist, and I would say that now I'm an independent fundamental Bible-believing Taoist. I still believe what I believe. We'll talk about that someday. A lot of people ask me about the Tao. What is the Tao Te Ching? Is this a religion? Is this a faith? The Tao... You can read a lot about it. You can get books by Alan Watts on the Tao. You can get your own copy of the Tao Te Ching. The Tao, <clears throat> well, here's the story, right? There was this dude, Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu just means old dude, old man. And uh, there was a lot of fighting at the time in the country he was in, so he decided he was going to leave. And on his way out, Somebody came up to him and said, oh, Lao Tzu, please give us your wisdom before you leave. So allegedly he sat down and wrote out 81 poems. 81 poems about life, about government, about dealing with other people. So it's not a religion. It's not a religious system. And you can read various sections of the Tao. Wayne Dyer did an entire book on the Tao called Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. And you can open up randomly, and he is discussing the Tao. And I find this absolutely fascinating because the very first line in the Tao says that the Tao that can be discussed is not the true Tao. Then we got a whole book on the Tao. Wait a minute, we got several books on the Tao. So the Tao Te Ching is one way that you can expand your spirituality without getting deeply involved in a religious system a faith-based system, uh, what you were raised in, it gives you a, a good alternative of a daily read. But let's look at some other ones. I'm a big fan of Rumi. And uh, Rumi, day by day, let's just open randomly. Don't imagine that your eyes only see because of their mechanism. How could optics possibly account for the vivid images in your dreams? Pretty random. Rumi. Rumi's a good one to read on a daily basis without getting into a religious system. Likewise, <clears throat> Cahil Gibran, Gibran, sorry. Cahil Gibran is another. Now, he was a Sufi, Muslim, mystic teacher, and he wrote several books, which are easy to read on a page by page basis. Once in a while, we find a party of gabbers who weave air from air, but remain without a garment. <laughs> day by day, one thing at a time. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, Wayne Dyer, I'm a big fan of Wayne Dyer. All right, Wayne Dyer wrote a book called The Power of Intention. It was probably the most influential book in my life in developing the, the business that I did, getting into recovery. We live in a universal field of intention. Your thoughts create your intentions. Your intentions create your reality. You create your reality based on what you think. What you think is based on what you put into your brain. Anything that affects the mind is a drug. 
Be careful what you put into your mind. Music matters. If you're filling your brain with death metal, that's what your brain's going to think about. If you're filling your brain with 528 hertz expansiveness love, then that's what your brain's going to think about. But this, uh, this book, Wayne Dyer, The Invisible Force, 365 Days. Uh, let's just random. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever it is that you want to do in life, make the primary motivation for your effort something or somebody other than your desire for gratification or reward. Random. One day at a time with Wayne Dyer. 365 days of walking the red road, the red road to recovery, Native American recovery. There's an entire uh, entire book on it. It's called The Red Road to Wellbriety. Instead of having 12 steps, you have the 12 points of the medicine wheel. You're focusing on 12-step recovery. And let's just open this randomly, May 11th. If the Great Spirit had desired me to be a white man, he would have made me so in the first place. He put in your heart certain wishes and plans. In my heart, he put other and different desires. Now, we are poor, but we are free. No white man controls our footsteps. If we must die, we die defending our rights. Sitting Bull, 1890. Wonderful little book. Good way to get some recovery if you don't want to be too religious. I like the uh, the inspiration cards. You can get this little set of Wayne Dyer cards. You do a card a day. Live in spirit. When you choose to live in spirit, you entrust yourself to something greater than your life as a physical being. When you listen and allow, spirit guides you. When you fail to listen or allow your ego to get in the way and run the show, you're no longer in spirit and you're usually uninspired. Tire set of cards, Wayne Dyer inspiration cards. Eckhart Tolle, of course, has a whole set of cards for the new earth, has one for the power of now. You've never read Eckhart Tolle, good way to go. Random card. The next step in human evolution is not inevitable, but for the first time in the history of our planet, it can be a conscious choice. Who is making that choice? You are. And who are you? Consciousness that has become conscious of itself. Wisdom cards from the mind of Ernest Holmes. Staying on the path. Another daily meditation by Wayne Dyer. These are shorties. Give love and unconditional acceptance to those you encounter and notice what happens. Wisdom from the Course in Miracles. The Course in Miracles cards. These can be kind of deep, but they're usually pretty quick. The healing of God's Son is all that the world is for. That is the one purpose that the Holy Spirit sees in it, and thus the only one that it has. This is one of my favorites. If you're Christian or faith-based, it's called Jesus Calling, daily meditation. Now, you would think I just collect these? I've been through every single one of what I just showed you a dozen times, day by day daily reading. That results in neural repatterning. That's how you change your brain. You have to put the right input in there. What you think about matters. What you hear matters. Guard your thoughts. Guard the input. Change your brain. That's how you develop a program of recovery. This is Dr. Tom. Thanks for joining us. Take care.
Thanks for joining us. This is Dr. Tom. If you like this content, please hit like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, share, and check out the suggested videos if you would on the way out. Thanks again.